All right, Coach. Well, the scoreboard was certainly impressive against McAllister at 63 to 10. Um, but do you feel like you played that well? You, you know, we played well. Mac is good. Mac is. Uh, um, they've done a nice job. They're they're just not near as deep as us. And even on this time that we've had together, we've talked about how uh, in the year of COVID, uh, Coach Meyer and his ability and his staff and his um, the culture that he has created in our weight room and our conditioning is. I think second to none and our guys, you know, our guys buy in and, and they've done that. And so as a game goes against team that, you know, they, they're, they've, they've been ahead almost every game at the half this year. And uh, we were able to just kind of wear them down and, and uh, but we played well and, and we were coming off some things that we, we wanted to fix. And so as a staff, we were, we were really pleased with, with how we played and how well we played late, you know, and so it was good. Yeah. Um, so you guys rash, rushed for a season high 387 yards. Um, Bryce Kunkel also had a career high. Uh, how are you feeling about the offensive line's progress as well as the running backs as a whole? Well, Bryce runs so hard, and he, that's part of that wearing down. So some of the other backs, um, they, they got some yards off of that too. But the offensive line is gelling together, and, and that's something that is, is constantly kind of moving together you know it's led by uh, Jack Fiddler and uh, Travis Sinclair Evan Ginter and those guys and then Sam Locke just just does a, a, a terrific job there and then Josh Helling is getting better every time so those five along with their guys that mix and match and and, uh, and, and back those guys up and teach them and help them it's a it's a big crew and it's a critically important part of any football team and Caleb Richardson would be a guy that can play everywhere and, and kind of does and so those guys together have really, um, they've gelled and they're getting better all the time. And I, you know, and, and that's along with our tight end, um, Nick Bamfield. So it's been a, it's a collective effort, but um, part of the thing, you know, Kunkel makes them look good because he really runs hard. And, um, you know, and then again, they feed each other. Yeah. Um, so it's sitting at six and one now, heading into week eight. What's been a, a message to the team recently? Well, you know, we're, uh, we're, we're going into um, St. Olaf, and uh, we've got an away game, and then we've got a couple games at home, and, and so there's excitement there. This is the type of year where you got to hang together. You know, we're 6-1, and one, and that's great, and um, that should be excitement enough, but, but we, uh, we've been talking about hold the rope is uh, something on the back of our, hand, um, of our helmets, and it's, a, it's an important piece to where um, it's about it's your football team. You look around who will you know, get rope burns because they'll hang on for you. But who will you, you know, will you be a guy who, even if somebody's not your favorite or he's playing in front of you, will you hold the rope for him? And we need to choose that. We need to choose that as uh, as men and, you know, in your family and all those different things. And so it's a, it's a life thing, but we don't want to hold the rope to be just a slogan. It's uh, It's got to become a way of life for our football team. And our guys, I'm really proud of the, the way that they are. And, and part of it's... It's not being selfless in a in a soft way. It's being selfless that I don't care who's who's uh, at the other end of that rope. I'm holding it and I'll let my hands bleed uh, because I care about you and I've chosen you as, uh, as my teammate. Yeah. So heading to to Northfield this week to play St. Olaf, um, a different style of offense and defense than you've been facing recently. Uh, what are you expecting from the Oles? Uh, you know they they were a little bit bit up and down and had some had some different deals and they're trying to find themselves a little bit. They've changed their quarterback. Uh, got a good running running game and uh, Embry is leading the league in rushing, I believe. They're, they're a real good tight end, Cotier, uh, number six. I'm not sure I'm saying his name right, but he's a really good player. Um, so he's a guy. You know, so they got some weapons in there. Defensively, they're really a pressure group. They they you know, really come after you and so. We've got to stem that tide and be patient so they'll get after us sometimes, but we've also got speed to break some things. So, you know, that thing kind of, you, you, the consistency for us is, is what's going to be our key. And, you know, we don't, we're just, you know, what whatever's in front of us, that's that's what we've got next. And, and we talk about it all the time, but we want to live that way. You know, we get, we finish well, now what's next? What's next? What's next? And each play worked that way. And um, we feel like we'll we'll go down and uh, play great and grow and uh, and then figure out what's next. That's awesome. Well, can't wait for Saturday. Let's go Neither. get them. Neither can't wait. <laughs>